Welcome to 40 Days of Soul Food, where we shift the conversation from what are you eating to what is eating you. Yesterday, we talked about uh, how we should watch our mouth, right? Uh, But today, I want to encourage you to increase your capacity. I want to ask you, how much can you hold? One of the things that concerns me, and not just me, but probably God, uh, too, is when we ask for things that we are not prepared for. Have you ever thought about that? I'll tell on myself then. Uh, There are several things that I have asked and even believed in good faith for uh, when it comes to my ministry or my giftings or whatever, but I haven't received it yet because I'm not or haven't uh, been prepared to receive them yet. I remember just several years ago praying for explosive growth in my ministry and my personal brand affairs, and I would say, well, I have the gifting, and I, I love people. But then I'd hear this small voice say, yeah, but what happens after you give them great encouragement, you have a wonderful speech or a word of wisdom, then what? Do you have any follow-up procedures? How will you stay connected to them? How are you stewarding those who you have influence over now? And I'm here to tell you, I don't believe that God will bring promotion past your capacity. I'm not saying that you won't have growth, but what I am saying is that all good growth, it ain't God growth. Here's something to think about. Have you ever thought that all promotion doesn't come from God? Think about it. You know, all these young Actors and singers spinning out of control, people crumbling uh, at the pressure of life. It's a real thing. I'm not minimizing that. But have you ever considered that you do, in fact, have an adversary? You know, one of your earnest and sincere prayers as a leader, and this is my prayer, and if you're a legacy maker, you know this prayer, it's God do not promote me prematurely. That takes a lot of humility and discipline to be able to pray. But I believe that the enemy can bring something to you that looks so good, but it's intended to harm you. That's why you have to be prayerful and use your brain and think and your spirit to discern. Is this here to better me or to destroy me? And also, did you know in the spirit of discernment that you can ask God for wisdom? God loves questions like that. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 29 says this, Now God gave Solomon wisdom and very great discernment and breadth of mind like the sand that is on the seashore. And here's what I really wanted to say. A God who is more concerned about your character than your career is not going to give you something that's going to mess you up. For instance, my dad is a pilot. He's very skillful in flying single-engine planes. As a matter of fact, he's got his pilot's license and uh, everything. But if he were to attempt to fly one of these commercial planes, he'd be in big trouble. And it would destroy him. As a matter of fact, he'd destroy himself. In the same manner, if you want something larger, ask God to increase your capacity so that you have the character and the knowledge to skillfully operate on a larger scale. So you ask, Dr. Leslie, how do I increase my capacity so I can get out of this rut that I'm currently in? Well, you stop doing important things inconsistently and you start doing them consistently. You must choose not to be complacent, step out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself to improve. So here's what I want you to do. Here's your call to action. Ask yourself, What have I done well occasionally that I should be doing daily? And then I want you to list two things that you can improve upon before this fast concludes. Ask God to increase your capacity. I'll see you tomorrow.